beautiful morning. What's going on, guys? Angel here, Better Man Daily. Thank you guys so much here for joining us today. If you guys are here on YouTube, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button so you guys don't miss what we have going on here. If you're listening on the podcast, I'm so happy that you guys are here as well. Um, I have a big following on TikTok. That's where the biggest following started. So if you guys want to follow on TikTok as well, go and join their Better Men Daily. So let's get to the matter at hand. The whole reason I made the TikTok account that started everything was because of these alpha males, these fake alpha males. And that's the subject of today's chat is what is an alpha male and what isn't an alpha male? And let me start with what's going on on TikTok. There's a lot of people, a lot of alpha TikTokers that are telling people to not to tell their crushes that they that they like them. They're telling them to ghost people. They're telling them to leave uh, girls, females on delivered. There are people that are saying that you should only worry about yourself, almost be rude, um, that you need to show everybody and tell everybody that you're an alpha male and uh, that you need to work out and do all of these things to in order to become a better man. And some of the, the things that they're saying are actually correct, at least some of the principles are correct, but a lot of what they're saying is completely incorrect. And I'm gonna go over that here today. One of the things that I didn't like, for example, I saw a video that said, you should never use these emojis when talking to her, only these emojis. And it was absolutely ridiculous to me because the emojis that they said to use were ones that you would use with like your, your friend, your bro, your homie. And you would never use those emojis to a girl or somebody, a significant other or anything like that. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous that you can't use the laughing, the laughing, crying emoji and that stuff. Like I said, that's a part of who you are. Like the way that you text or the way that you use emojis is just you being you. And I don't understand why that is an alpha um, regardless. Um, the second thing is that they, they tell people to leave people on delivered like they act like they're too busy. And I, I absolutely hate that because it, it's in this day and age, it's ridiculous. No matter how busy you are, Gary Vee can respond to his own tweets. I mean, there are people who have millions and millions of followers that still look at their phone. And you're telling me over the course of eight hours or a day or two days, you didn't look at that Snapchat? Come on. People are people have schedules that are booked from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they still are able to check with their family, check with their you know check their phone, check Snapchat, and all of those things. You have you have time for that. You eat. You use the restroom. There's times for you to check your phone. That's absolutely ridiculous. So I don't get why you have to put on that front. That's not alpha. Um, and then the other thing that I really want to reiterate is the obsessive amount that alpha TikTokers work out. I actually like this piece because. I think exercise is the easiest way to develop self-discipline, and I think the self-discipline is ultimately what's going to change you in many other aspects of your life. And with that being the way that you handle relationships, your career, your your fitness, your finances, those things, you change those through self-discipline. And I think that's the right idea. But that's where that's where it ends for me with these fake alpha TikTokers. Now, I like to give this example for the younger crowd, the 16 to 35 crowd will probably understand this more. A lot of uh, those people probably grew up or are still growing up watching Dragon Ball Z. And one of the, the analogies I like to use is Vegeta and Goku. And everybody in their mind thinks that Vegeta is an alpha male. Vegeta is very prideful. He wants to be the best at any costs. He works extremely hard. He only has one focus and that's to be the best and be better than Goku. And then you have Goku. Goku's more, he's more aloof. He's uh, a lot more calm. He's at peace with himself. He is a little more family oriented, but he also has goals uh, and dreams. And anytime that there is um, something that is going to destroy the, the world, destroy the earth, everybody looks to Goku to save the day. And I like to think of Vegeta as the fake alphas, and I like to think the alphas that you guys should be striving to be is to be more like Goku. Now, let me talk about Vegeta first. And the story that I always tell is the the first time that he turned Super Saiyan. So the first time that he turned Super Saiyan, he worked as hard as he could. He was at working out at 400 times gravity. His, his, he worked out till his body almost didn't work. Um, and he worked and he worked and he worked and he worked. And eventually he became so tired and so frustrated because he couldn't actually make the, the step to turn Super Saiyan and he didn't know why. And then all of a sudden, he was on this, this other planet, he was training on this other planet and he got so frustrated that he said that he didn't care anymore. He didn't care about being better than Goku. He didn't care about anything. 
in the moment that he said that, that he truly felt at peace with himself with that decision, he turned Super Saiyan. And it was because of all the hard work he was putting in, that actually helped. So just like I talked about with the fake alphas, all this work that you're putting in with self-discipline and working out, it's going to help you. But you will never change into that next being. You'll never turn Super Saiyan. You'll never be a better person until you actually realize and acknowledge the battle that's going on inside of you. Once you can acknowledge that and become at peace with that, you can level up and go Super Saiyan. And with Goku, that's why I wanted to tell you guys that Goku is the actual alpha. He's kind. He's thoughtful. He he doesn't tell everybody that he's the best. Everybody tells him that he's the best. And that's the most important part is that you don't have to tell everybody that you're an alpha. Everybody knows that you're an alpha based on your skills, based on your self-discipline, based on your on your convictions, based on your ambitions and the places you're trying to go and the things that you do in order to succeed. That's what makes you an alpha, not telling everybody that you're an alpha or doing things to be mean or trying to be the do it the Steve Jobs way of being a jerk to everybody to show them that you're the boss. Instead, being kind and being at peace with yourself. That's what a true alpha is because somebody who's at peace with themselves can help other people and they have time and they have the energy and they have the space in their brain in order to be able to absorb some of those things and help other people instead. That's what a true elf is and that's why I made Better Men Daily. So thank you guys so much, Angel here, Better Men Daily. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button. If you guys are listening, thank you so much for listening here on the podcast. Until next time, guys, Angel here, Better Men Daily. Take care. Until next time, all love. Talk soon. Peace. Peace.